Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Flix by Ryan, and today we're gonna to be talking about Instagram captions. So, as a photographer or videographer or whatever it is that you do, you probably use Instagram and people have probably told you, look, if you wanna be successful, you have to post on Instagram all the time. You wanna post at least once a day or at least a couple times a week and you wanna have high quality content and this and that and the other thing and Instagram is huge, right? I agree. I think that everyone should be posting on Instagram all the time and there's two things that could really inhibit you from posting on Instagram consistently. The first thing is having quality content. You might not always have content to post on Instagram and you don't want to just throw random terrible pictures at the wall and see what happens. You want to be posting your best work or, or the best content that you possibly can make for Instagram so that when people come onto your page they're like okay this guy has a feed of quality consistent work and that's that's one issue. The second issue is thinking of captions and this seems this seems like a really small problem to have however it can seriously stop you from posting on Instagram. Like you could be sitting on plenty of great content, but just not know what to say. And so that's what this video is about. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to write meaningful Instagram captions. How to write meaningful Instagram captions. There's a couple of things that you wanna do. You want to entertain, you want to educate, or you want to give insight, right? So for me, whenever I try to think about this, I try to think about what's going on in my life, or think about what I have overcome in the past. So for example, today I posted on Instagram and I said something along the lines of, yeah, I'm feeling like a rocket ready to explode. I, I feel like I've been laying the frameworks and I'm about to launch and skyrocket my success because I've been feeling like, you know, I've been learning a lot. I've been changing my business. I've been, uh, you know, really doing good business these days. And I wanted to share with people like, this is insight into my life, how my business is going right now. I've also posted captions where I kind of just give a little motivational quote. I, uh, I get, that could be entertaining, that could be education. I'd say mostly entertain. Uh, it says, happy Monday gang. Take action on the thing that scares you the most. Now, for me, that's a very low effort caption. But at the time I was feeling inspired to tell people to take action. So I said, happy Monday, take action. Another post that I had, I have a packed day today. I'm so grateful for that. To be able to wake up and be busy morning to night doing exactly what you love. There's nothing better. I was feeling down the other day because I woke up for the 90th day in a row with the drive to work, but I was lacking any work to do or the inspiration to create. I had to remind myself that this too shall pass. Today wouldn't feel as good as it did without the low I felt the other day. It's the circle of life. And then this emoji. So that's more insight into my business. It shares, look, I have great days and I have shitty days. And I was feeling shitty, but today I'm feeling great and I'm grateful for that. So thank you and cheers, basically. When I can't think of something good that I wanna post on Instagram, I literally just say, hey, if you're reading this, thank you so much. I appreciate that you're following me. Um, people like to, hear, like to hear this and people will, will say you're welcome in the captions or, or give you a, a fire emoji or it's good to thank your audience for paying attention because ultimately you can't do what you do without other people giving you attention or paying attention to what you do. Uh, and that means a lot that, that they actually care about what you do. So you should thank them. And so sometimes I, I think like, okay, I want to, I want to do a thank you post because I haven't done one in a while. But oftentimes if I just don't know what to, what to caption a photo, I'll just say, Hey, thank you so much for paying attention. It really means a lot to me. Um, I couldn't do what I do without you and I'm grateful for you and your audience will really like that. Here's another caption that I used uh, recently in one of my photos that I thought was really good and it provided a lot of value and gave some insight into my business. How many risks have you taken this year to improve your life next year? Personally, I've taken at least three risks this year that were very costly failures. But guess what? I regret nothing. The thing is, this is part of the process. Nobody becomes great overnight. You gotta go out and try to learn and grow. If you're not taking risks, you're not leaving your comfort zone. And if you're not leaving your comfort zone, how do you expect to level up? And then I said, cheers to taking that risk and giving it your all. Now, this is a great caption because I think this educates people. It, it says, look, we all wanna be great. We all wanna drive Lamborghinis and buy our mom's houses, right? But if you're not taking risks, you're not gonna be leveling up. You're not gonna be getting out of your comfort zone. And I don't know if you watch my Success Sundays, but I've said before, 
Your comfort zone is your failure zone. You don't want to stay in your comfort zone because when everything's comfortable, there's no reason to step out of that, step into that next level. You know what I mean? So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you got some insight into what your Instagram captions could be like. Um, these are just some of the captions that I use. Uh, my main theory is try to educate, entertain, or give insight into your business. And then if you don't have any of those things to do, say thank you to your audience. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel because I drop new videos on this channel every single Tuesday. Uh, also give this video a like and comment down below if there's something that you think I missed or comment something that uh, you got from this video that you're gonna start implementing into your Instagram caption game. And until the next video, it's been your boy Flix by Ryan. Peace out.